It's August the 19th, 2020, and we welcome you to Jake's Bounty. Let's get into the garage. Let's go. Thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. Let me scooch over here. A little twist. Oh. All right. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. That's right. It is August the 19th, 2020. And um, it is a Wednesday. So it's a what the fuck Wednesday. We're going to have a crazy story, a uh, crazy local story. And you can either say you believe it or you don't believe it. And then I'll tell you. Uh, right afterwards, whether it's real or not, okay? So let's go ahead and thank the music first that um, was provided today by uh, the Deadpool. That was uh, their song, Joint Custody, off of their album, uh, Atop This Hill of Shit. Uh, it's an EP. There we go. Right there. See that? All right. And uh, it came out back in 2017, uh, I think back in February of that year. Uh, pretty little good album, so go check it out. All right, I'd like to thank my sponsors at this time. We got Joseph S. Stein, making me look so, so fine. I'm wearing a tie again today, feeling good. He can be the same for you. All you got to do is go to him. He'll make you look and feel just like 10 bucks too, all right? All right, um, I want to say uh, ass cleaner, travel size. All right, get this, get a towel. I don't know how many times I have to say this. But if you're out camping or, you know, you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, but you got to take a deuce and you have a travel size ass cleaner and your towel, go ahead and pop a squat, take out that shit, and then take out this travel size ass cleaner spray, wipe your ass, good to go. Travel size ass cleaner. And finally, at least for right now, it's the Pube Master Pen. That's right. You color in your pubes that are gray or maybe you have patches of, you know, uh, no pubes at all. So you color this in right here. You use a pube master pen right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to my bounty right now. It's right here, it's a pretty good size one. I had to drop some things off. Uh, it was just over full. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at what's in it. All right, so let's see, we got a uh, Crush Orange. Uh, it's a um, good bottle right there. Pure Leaf, Brew Tea, a water bottle, another water bottle, a water bottle, another water bottle. This is good because it's been really hot, 110 degrees. This means you guys have been hydrating yourselves. All right, uh, another water bottle. This one's water, but with blueberry, you know, fruity, fruiterson. Uh, water bottle again and Mike's hard lemonade strawberry all right let me pack this up I can already see some schmiz left over all right hold on and uh, not too bad but I will spray some just in case and Right there, ass cleaner. And also on my hand. That's right, gotta be safe. Get that ass cleaner in there. Use a different towel. Uh, I'm sanitizing, I'm sanitizing. All right, no COVID here. Here's what I found on today's little excursion. It's a, uh, one of those a, a hologram uh, cards from back in the day. It's a DC comic. This is 1989, it's Batman. Uh, it, I guess it uh, goes back to the movie that came out at the same time, or not, um, judge for yourself. It's, uh, like I said, a hologram. Oh, you can see that. I'll get a little closer for you. Remember back in the day, you used to get these in like Cracker Jacks boxes or like with uh, baseball cards, your DC comics or whatever. 
And see, that goes like that. That's pretty cool, right? That was the shit back in the day. All right, now, you wish you could get something this cool in a Cracker Jack box. Now it's like a stupid tattoo or like, uh, I don't know, like something to do with the, the top of your pencil that makes your eraser look cool. If you're like, I don't know, I guess some like LSD or some shit, and even then it probably wouldn't work. But this was actually cool, a hologram. So I found this on my little excursion today. And it's a little sticker. Please uh, peel off back in and stick on clean service. Wow, I wonder if this works all this time, you know, 31 years later. Uh, I mean, maybe it's still sticky. I'm still sticky after uh, 38 years later. <laughs> all right, um, let me go ahead and get to the news. We got a little bit of the news today. Um, Retail businesses in River Park are taking a big hit uh, due to the pandemic. Um, even while this is going on, new stores are opening, such like Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think uh, there's other stores as well. Uh, there was an electronic store opening over there by River Park. But there's other businesses uh, that are going out of business, the mom and pop, even the bigger businesses that are going out of business uh, due to the pandemic. All right, a new park will go up on Melbourne and Dakota uh, Avenue and decide, and you can decide what you want in it. Um, you can either have a skate park, playground, uh, soccer field, or any combination of other ideas. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, Fresno County Courthouse uh, Hollow Rack Groups will be reopened today. Um, so if you have anything to do with the court, uh, you should already probably already be there. It's open today. There's no flooding. There's no power outages. So I guess that's good news. I don't know. I wouldn't want to go to court. Uh, Ignacio Lopez uh, bailed himself out of jail with stolen money, I presume, that he stole from a uh, bank earlier in this week. Uh, just days later, he was caught in a strip mall uh, shooting with uh, police officers. And he was expected to survive after he got hit. All right, today's high is gonna be, let me get my whiteboard out. Da -da -da -da. All right. Uh, right now it is 85 degrees. Later on it will be 108 degrees. All right, so there we go to the whiteboard. We have 85 degrees right now and 108 degrees later on, all right? So go find yourself some shade, keep yourself hydrated, do all those good things. All right, before I get to um, today's what the fuck story, I'm gonna show you uh, Centipede, that's right. It's a raised video. Nobody has a come up yet here to rent it yet, but um, it's still here, and it is a game that sucks. But if you have a PS1, it's only a dollar, and it's a seven-day rental, and you know you can fart around for it in like a few minutes. And you know it's not the worst game that you ever played, but it's slightly better than Frogger on PS1. I'm gonna do a review on it later on, uh, so just be on the lookout for that. It'll be Jake's extra. Um, all right, go check this out at Ray's video. Um, yeah, it's a dollar. Okay, um, gonna go ahead and get to the uh, what the fuck Wednesday story. You're gonna tell me whether or not this story is real or fake, all right? Okay, so about three years ago, I was uh, high as a kite and I was getting cans, uh, you know, usual. And um, I was by McDonald's in Kingsburg, and I was getting cans out of the, you know, garbage bag over there, uh, garbage receptacle over there, and, you know, by McDonald's. And uh, I noticed a guy doing real strange things over there by the McDonald's sign, you know, the one that says one billion surf. And uh, then I noticed this guy coming up to me, and he uh, notices a guy by the Mickey D sign as well, and he says, oh my God, that's disgusting, how could he do that? 
and I look closer, and the guy's beaten off right there at the uh, Mickey D sign. I just like go and it was just, uh, and I was just like, oh man, this guy must be high on meth because not only was he doing that, but he wasn't even hard. And I, even though I was very far away, I could tell because I've been there. I've been in that situation where you're like, oh, I'm so high right now. I'm a mess. I got to beat off. But you're just like, it won't get hard. It won't come. God damn it. And he was just there stuck in a moment, you know. And kids were getting their Happy Meals. Well, different kind of Happy Meal, I guess. <laughs> yeah, different kind of toy. Different kind of surprise, right? And uh, so I just hung out there and I was like, you know what? I could get cans or I could go just, you know, stick around and see just what develops. And uh, I did just that. I stuck around and before I knew it, the cops were there and they were like, hey, dude, put your penis away, you know? Um, and uh, he, he did put his penis finally away. You know, the, the kids all clapped and sort of the parents. Um, you know, but it was a fun, entertaining day. I don't know if he got charged uh, with the crime or not. I mean, how, you, how could you get charged with uh, exposing yourself to that many people or, um, you know, diddling yourself to that many people? Anyway, that happened, like I said, two years ago at McDonald's. Uh, like I said, I was canning. You can go ahead and say either A, that was true, or B, false. All right, take your time right now. Tick tock, 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 and talk. All right, was the story real or was it fake? It was real, that's right. And it did happen about two or three years ago. I witnessed a guy jerking off uh, to the Mickey D sign or just jerking off in general. Uh, he was high on meth, I presume. Like I said, because he wasn't getting it hard. Um, I could even tell from my vantage point. Not only that, but he was doing it forever. I mean, even when the cops pulled up, he was still just like, Grr. you know, he needed to come. I've been there. I've been there. All right. Well, I do want to talk about a few other things before uh, we say goodbye for the show. Uh, we've got uh, coloring books. That's right. We've got coloring books of cats and dogs. This one's all filled in for you. You can act like, look, I've been doing this. I've been doing something, all right? Yeah, I haven't found that job yet, but get off my back, all right? And then you got the Mandalas one right here. And, oh, that's just a blank page. And then you go here, and it's good. And you get two for $2.99 if you go to Jake's Bounty right now. Type in the word Mandalas, okay? I also want to talk to you about... Uh, Tank stick, that's right. Uh, you've heard of power stick, you've heard of deodorant for your uh, penis and your balls and your nards. Well, this is tank stick. It's for the part right there underneath, uh, you know, your balls and your ass. It's right that little gap right in there in between. Tank, tank stick, all right? There we go. And finally, we've got Dad's Cologne. That's right, Dad's Cologne. Now, you can smell just like he did just before he died. Alcohol, and, uh, barbiturates, a little bit of uh, fire uh, from the cigarettes, and a little bit of perfume from the uh, stripper that he uh, saw just before he died. Uh, now you too can smell like your dad with dad's cologne. Your mom will swear your dad has come back from the grave. All right, well, tomorrow is uh, Throwback Thursday. We'll have... Um, some memories, uh, we'll go down memory lane. We'll see uh, maybe a picture of me from middle school, I don't know. Or maybe we'll see something even uh, earlier, from an earlier time. We'll also have some music that you haven't heard, I'm sure. Um, a lot of my bouncy, some news. Um, just a good time all in all. So come back tomorrow and uh, hope you guys uh, stay safe and uh, be good to each other. And right now, here's more of the Deadpool with um, joint custody. All right, you guys uh, stay safe, be good to each other. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.
Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records, Studios and Productions. Follow Jake Hernandez at his channel. Just don't follow him while he's getting cans. You can also follow him on Facebook. Comment and leave a like.